Welcome to our Lenten Reflections continued as now we approach Holy Week and in a very special way we approach Palm Sunday as the opening of our Holy Week. I remember making a trip to the Holy Land and going up on the Mount of Olives. You see, up the mountain, the trees, they continue to be very much part of our story. Our guide brought us there and brought us down the hill, down the mountain, into Jerusalem to walk the path that Jesus would have ridden on that donkey. And he told us, remember how we've been traveling around and you saw those palm trees? Yes, we all said. Well, those palm trees are not coconut palm, they're date palms. And those dates are very much an important part of the economy of the people. And at that time of Jesus, it was the very beginnings and you saw them even now in these little tiny bud forms. On Palm Sunday, we read that the people took palm branches. What happened was they were so excited that the Messiah was here and was going to free them from Roman rule, free them from taxation, free them from all the things that they wanted, a new life in this new Messiah, the new leader, that they went and they ravaged the palm trees, tore the branches, destroyed the crop of that season, not caring that they were losing this because they would have much more riches with this new leader. And so comes Good Friday. When they realize he's been arrested, he's not the one, they think. We've lost everything. In our mad rush, we threw away our future. But what they didn't realize was in that despair, they were throwing away their future of eternal life in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Palm Sunday, we remember the Mount of Olives. We remember the palm trees. Oh, the water? Each year we bless the palms, remembering that through his death and resurrection, we were buried with Christ and we come to new life with him. And so we bless the palms that we will carry with holy water. Remember where our treasure lies. Remember where our future lies in Jesus Christ. For this world is passing, but the one who created this world is forever. A blessed Holy Week, a very inspiring Palm Sunday to follow him, Jesus Christ, to the riches of the kingdom of heaven in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>